in the town of Uri, about 15 kilometers from the India-Pakistan line of control, this school has been turned into a temporary shelter. These families are from Kamalkot, in Indian-administered Kashmir, situated right by the militarized border between the two countries. Their village saw intense shelling and cross-border firing on Thursday and Friday. We were sleeping. We were woken up by a loud noise. The kids got scared, so we packed up and left. We were really scared. We want the shelling to stop so that we can go back home. Local authorities believe more families might come here in case shelling continues. We've emptied out eight classrooms for them. As you can see, the desks are all outside. And the local administration has also arranged meals for them. A 2003 ceasefire agreement has been violated frequently over the past couple of years, especially during moments of high tension. There's a sense of hopelessness among these people. For several years now, this is the situation. One day it stops, then it starts. They start shelling in the middle of the night. This is never going to stop. We don't have any bunkers or refuge, no safety. People from both sides die needlessly, whether it's India, who fires, or Pakistan, we're the ones who suffer. Indian authorities have been constructing bunkers in certain villages along the line of control. At least eight people have died so far in the violence and dozens more have been injured on both sides of the border. These Kashmiris have been on the front line of the conflict for decades as India and Pakistan battle over their region. Banerjee, yeah, reporting there.